The Open Two-Factor Authenticator extension is an open source two-factor authenticator for browsers and smartphones. Currently, this extension works on Chrome, Edge, Firefox and Opera. I'm going to demonstrate the functionality on Chrome. So to get started, we first add this to our browser. After adding to our browser, we can then pin it to the browser toolbar. To do this, simply left click and then left click the pin. Now you'll see inside the toolbar, the icon for the extension. If you'd like this extension to work in incognito mode, you can enable this as well. Simply left click again on the puzzle piece, click the three dots and then select manage extension. If you scroll down, you'll see the option here to allow an incognito. Simply click to toggle that on and this can be toggled on and off. Now the extension is set up, we can look at its options and begin to use it. To begin to use this extension, we simply left click inside the browser toolbar on the extension icon. You'll then be prompted to add or enter the master password. If you've yet to enter a password, this is where you set it. This then gives access and we'll see the ability to add and refresh the screen. So if we go ahead and restart, we can now see when we open up the pop-up every time, we're prompted for this password again. So now if we enter something different, it's now gonna say no credentials because it hasn't been added or it's incorrect. So visually there doesn't seem to be an error here, but it means that we've entered the wrong information. So if we go ahead and enter the correct password and then press add, we can then see the options here to set up the two factor. So we're going to put some dummy information into place here to demonstrate the functionality. And we can also select an icon if we want this here as well. Rather than manually enter, you also have the ability to scan a QR code using the device if the website gives you a QR code to set up the two-factor. I'll demonstrate that in this moment. This has now been added. Now, if we open the pop-up and we enter the password, we can see it here. If we enter the pop-up and add the wrong password, we can see it's no longer associated with it. So, the other option of this extension is to add via QR code as well. So, if you go ahead and select scan QR code, we can upload via an image onto the device and it'll pick that QR code up directly. So setting up the QR code and the two-factor authentication or the manual input and the two-factor authentication, it's very simple. Every time we close the session, it closes all of the information behind that, so we need to re-enter our password. So when you are prompted by a website to set up two-factor authentication, they'll either give you the secret information and the apps, etc., to put into the boxes here, or you can scan the QR code and it'll be automatically handled via this extension then it's all manageable via here as well.